All right, guys, so before we get started, in case you didn't already know, I'm giving away either Off-White Air Max 97s or 90s once we hit 450,000 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe if you don't already. And with all that being said, let's get on into this video. What's going on, YouTube? It's Blake. Today I'm back with another video, and today we're at Flight Club. I know I just filmed a sneaker shopping video here, but today we're gonna be running through some of the rare shoes that they have on their grail wall. This is a crazy selection from Air Forces to the newest Adidas to foam posits to Jordan samples. It's crazy, they have some of the rare skins here. The first shoe that really caught my eye is this Billionaire Boys Club. I think it's friends and family, Pharrell and MD, with the trail bottom. They have them for about three grand here, but they go for two to three. I really like these. They don't have my size, I don't think. I actually know somebody that has my size that'll be getting them really soon, so I may work out a trade, we'll see. In the same category, the Nerd Pharrell Human Races. These are exclusive to Complex Con. I think they had under 50 pairs of these. Really, just really sick how they did that, like camouflage on the bottom. And I really like this trail bottom because these are gonna last a while. The Nerds, I think this is 3M. And uh, I'm a little worried though if I were to ever get these because it's not even really like that much in there. It's like a light thing. So I feel like it would totally come off. And then that's like all to the shoe, you know? But these are really clean. I think these are about four to five grand, they go for three. And then they have all these Pharrells, these dead stock ones. I have these dead stock as well as the red ones and the green ones. All right, so a couple other shoes that I see over here, obviously the Paranormans. I have a pair of these at home, such a clean shoe. It's my favorite foam posit that I'll ever, I don't know if they released, but ever exist. They also have Dornbeckers and Galaxy foams. I have these as well. These I don't, but I buy these like at a sneaker con for like, couple hundred bucks used. And then these are actually uh, a really popular pair now. I think these are just called Nike Mars. They go for a lot, like over a thousand. They're different. I think it's like a, it's a designer company. They collabed. I don't really know too much about these, but they're pretty cool. Um, I mean, they're different. That's what I like about these, they're different, but they are like a weird looking shoe. And then right here, they do have the We The Best Grateful Threes from the one and only DJ Khaled. These are really, really rare. They have them up for 23,000. This is insane. Again, huge shout out to Flight Club for letting me film all this stuff. We the best, you know. I'm trying to make my channel the best, but I gotta put in that grind, you know, so. A couple other shoes that I see right here. We have both of the Oregon 3 samples. I think there's three or four of them. One exists with no patch there. And then I think there is one of these with the patch. So there's one with patch with black and then one without and with the with the white colorway. And uh, yeah, these are really clean. They go for a lot, like well over six grand each. They do have something up there. Unfortunately, it's a little high. And I don't want to bother them because they're already letting me film here. But they have a pair of those new Jordan 1s, the Igloo ones. It's a really, really clean colorway. Um, there are a lot of other shoes we're going to check out right now. But those I've had my eye on. They're exactly a thousand. That's a lot, but they are Miami exclusive, like exclusive to Art Basel. But yeah, they do have all the Yeezys right here. They got Red Octobers, obviously a classic. Can't go wrong. I'm gonna guess the price here is six grand. Wow, 10. Wow, yeah, this is such a crazy shoe. This is one of like my favorite shoes of all time. I know, I'm a hype beast. Like, in case you didn't already know, these Pharrells are really clean. I really like these. I haven't been able to get my size yet. I just like the tan colorway, the yellow bottom. They have them for a lot though, so I'm gonna pass on these here. So some other shoes that they have over here, they do have a couple of these Yeezy Bapestas. This is a Bapesta shoe, but it's with the Kanye West uh, like college dropout bear, which is really sick. These are really, really nice. These are really rare too. My friend Brooks had a pair of these. A couple other shoes that really pop, v -Lone Air Forces. I like these a lot. I would pick these up for sure the lace tips that's pretty neat they have stars on them that's pretty crazy you see that these are Velon Air Force Ones they did come out with a lot of samples which you guys have seen at Soul Stage like a blue swoosh a red swoosh a green a yellow swoosh but this is like the general release pair it's not a general release but this is like released to the public and then another shoe that they have is the Sean Waterspoon Air Maxes obviously Air Max 97 this is a size 14, huge size. I have my pair still. I'm never gonna get rid of them because Sean did give them to me. Huge shout out to him. This shoe is just sick. 
it's it's different it's out there but with the corduroy and the different colors and the different tones and shades it's really nice and this shoe just totally pops so huge shout out to Sean I think they have these for over a thousand which is crazy like who would have known like a sneaker store owner who pretty much like he's talked to me and I talked to him he started from like very low in Virginia he totally built his way up now he owns a store in Los Angeles New York and Virginia and uh, came out with his own Nike shoe so that's pretty crazy. I do believe there is gonna be a bigger release. I'm not sure yet though, so don't take my word for it. But these are really sick and it's just crazy to see his whole story. That's why I love these. Another pretty sick shoe. These are the undefeated Air Maxes. I'm not sure which Air Max. These may be 97s. They look exactly like those. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know like that much about Air Maxes, but I think these are Air Max 97s. These were uh, the undefeated Complex Con exclusives. These go for like well over 1500. I I've seen like I've seen people pay up to two grand, which is crazy. But they're pretty clean. So now, obviously, you guys know one of my favorite shoes. Like I think personally, the best shoe release of the year, the Yeezy 700s. No, I'm kidding. I just sold my pair. Yeah. I like them. I got them for retail. Uh, I pretty much like doubled my profit. I held on to them for a little bit, and uh, they're clean. The suede is really nice right here, but it looks too much like a dad shoe. Like I think I want to get these for my dad, but they're really high right now. They go for like I think 800. That's a lot, and I think retail was 350. So that was like a nice double in profit. And then they do have all the Pharrell human races. I know I went over one over there. I really like this colorway as well. I think this was like a little too out there. Like I wish they made like a purple or pink colorway, like just straight purple or pink. But they do have this teal colorway. Um, again, they do have these priced very high, so I would not pick them up here. But these and the tan ones, these and the tan ones and the Oreos, because you guys know I do have these. I got these for my asking trip. You guys know I love the Oreos. I love these a lot. They're super comfortable. But the teal, I think it's called teal. And like the tan colorway these are really really nice and uh, I don't know the colors just go really well together I feel like for that like that pair especially uh, especially this being like a bolt green I don't think it really went with it at all like if it was white or black like I don't even know why they did that because all these are different colors and then they sort of made this too close to that so I don't know why they did that but I mean if I found these for a good price like 300 I have seen some pairs for 300 I would pick them up just to like complete the set and I would wear these but I'm not trying to drop like seven eight hundred on these not that they go for this but they have these for probably like 700 years. all right so another shoe that I really wanted to uh, talk about the blue tints my boy miles if you show him your, your footwork he picked those up yesterday these are the blue tints these are uh, actually one of the uh, the most widely released easy v2 colorways I think it is the most but they're just I think so the blue I think more belugas. No, really? More, more belugas, you're right. Actually, the belugas are the most released. But being like straight up honest with you guys, these do go for the cheapest when uh, like the red stripe goes for like 1500 And like those are sick and all. But being honest, just because these are cheaper doesn't make them any less cooler. I think this is actually one of the like the sickest and cleanest colorways that have come out. I think they have these for a lot here. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, I am still looking for my pair. We got Miles a pair yesterday at Soul Stage for a fair price, 400. I pay that for my pair, but I'm not trying to drop like 600, you know. And then these go for these go for a, around the same price, a little lower. But I think these are really clean too, don't you think? I like both. Of them. I think they're both clean. I would say a fair price for each of these is 400. But I mean, I'm sure you can find better if you look for it. And then the last easy that I sort of want to address is the frozen yellows. If you guys don't know what these are, this is actually the most limited colorway that came out. It's weird because they came out with these, then these, and then those. Oh no, wait, I think this and then that and that. But they released all three of these colors really recently. And this is actually the rarest colorway out of all the V2s that have ever released. They go for about a thousand, but they will be going for a lot more in the future. They'll go up to two grand, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna call it right now. But these go for around 800. They probably have them for a thousand. Yeah, a thousand exactly. So these are really clean. I have a pair. I like them because they're out there and they're different. And that's what makes shoes, I think, cool to have, you know? Something that not everybody likes. And I know I shouldn't be saying this because I'm a hype piece and I follow everything hyped. But I really like these. They're really clean and I'm really happy I got a pair when 
everybody like totally didn't want them because now people are starting to want these. All right guys, so I'm gonna end the video off right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like. So with all that being said, huge shout out and huge bless up to Flight Club for allowing me to film two videos here. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in a bit. And it's your boy Blake, and we're out of here. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure to go check out my latest video in the middle of the screen. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.